you get quite a lot of lag, don't you? So you, uh, you go back like this, and then transition, you lag. So, this, so you're taking all the bounce off, right? So it's going to come off quite deep. You could probably get a lot of curly divots. Yeah, yeah okay. So, so you've got to feel like you, you, you take it back, okay, probably a little bit wider would help you, but you want to feel like you, you're really releasing the club. So if you, if you hold up just in your right hand, more towards the bottom, and then put your left finger, two left fingers against the top like that. That's it. That's it. Go, go, to, go to the top. You see that gap between your arm and your grip? At the moment, that gap for you gets bigger. Right? You want to feel like that gap gets smaller by pushing your fingers back to that way. So do, do some swings there. So take it back and then pull the bottom grip back up your arm. So you want to feel like you just put a bit of force just to allow the bottom grip to work. That's it, and that's releasing there. So if my three releases, you'll release zero. I'm listening up. Yeah. Right? Well, you got exactly. you have no release. Right? <laughs> so you've got to learn to, you've got to do that drill to feel what the release is. So you've got to practice like release twos and threes to try and get away from zero, so that'll take that you to a one point. Right. But there you go, do you feel that? Yeah. So that's now as you're coming down, you see the bounce is going to land and actually slide, mm -hmm. whereas you're going that way. You see? Yeah. That's you sorted. Sorted. All right. I'll be actually.